I don't want this World Cup to end. I really don't. Another fantastic day of football and we already know the first semi-finalists. We have France going through against Uruguay 2-0. And then we have Belgium beating Brazil 2-1. Absolutely unbelievable games. And as always, we're going to start off with the earlier kickoff. And then we'll talk about the kickoff or the game that I just watched. Literally five minutes ago, it finished. And um, yeah, <laughs> what a game. But the, the Uruguay-France game, very, very good as well. I thought that France actually looked like the real deal tonight. I almost feel like throughout the tournament, a lot of the big teams just haven't got going and because of that a lot of them have gone out quite simple really but France just managed to you know get that last minute push you know and today it felt like they actually started off a little bit lackluster I thought Uruguay looked the better team in the first 30 40 minutes or so but really France just switched it on in the second half and ultimately had enough to beat Uruguay who for me Whilst they are great going forward, and they were unfortunate not to have Cavani in the, in the side tonight, they are pretty much Atletico Madrid. A very defensive team. They get a lot of 1-0s, 2-0 wins, a lot of clean sheets. They're not known for going forward with that fluid passing and tiki-taka football. They're a very defensive team, and they're very good at defending. And that's, that's why they've got so far in this competition and why they've been so good over the last few years in terms of getting clean sheets and just not being beaten easily at all. Um, but France, ultimately, they just had enough, didn't they? They've got such a good, well-rounded team, and that's why they are my favourites to win the World Cup and have been since the tournament began. I know I keep reminding you, but it was between France and Germany for me, and now that Germany are gone, it's quite clear that I'm going to go with France. I just, I see their squad, and it's not even the finished article, by the way. They have a young squad. And for me, they still have the best squad. They just have a bit of everything. If you think what you need in a team to make it great, you need pace, you need physicality, you do, you do need experience, which I guess you could say France lack a little bit. You need commanding players, leaders. You need great finishers. You need real athletes and athletic players. You need a mixture of players as well. You need some smaller players that are really agile and just annoying and great at just winning the ball back and chasing down players and then you need the big guys that reinforce the players you know you look at your Giroud's your your uh, Pogba's and at the back you've got Varane you've got so many great players that just link with each other so well and that I think is a prime example of why they're doing so well in this tournament despite not actually playing very well at, at times but in the second half they really were very good and I was very impressed with France not much more to say, really, other than I think Uruguay had a very good tournament and I'm glad that they're out now, though, because Torreira, get to London, do your medical and let's announce him at Arsenal, please. Um, and also Suarez going. I, I despise the guy multiple times again today. I just want to wring his neck. He's just doing stupid things on a pitch. He's such a great player, similar to Neymar again tonight. Just great player ruined by just being a dick, really. It's a shame. And also I want to touch on Muslera because he's been a great goalkeeper for the entire tournament up till now. Made a big mistake. Griezmann hit it from far out, actually, quite far out. And he didn't even celebrate as it hit Muslera's palms and went in. I'm not sure why he hasn't tried to just collect it and grab it instead. He's gone to palm it. The ball moved a teeny bit, but nah, not really. I think Muslera's just made a big mistake there. And uh, I think that actually pretty much was the final nail in the coffin for, uh, for Uruguay. So I'm sad that... It's happened to Muslera because he has been so good, but I'm glad France have gone through, I think. Would I rather play Uruguay or France? Actually, if I'm if I'm being honest, as an England fan, if we do get to the final and I could have chosen between Uruguay and, and France to be in the final, I probably would choose France. I don't want to play against Uruguay because they're so good at being defensive, physical. They're just really difficult to play against. Uh, so well, well done to, to France. Uh, now, I did record a prediction for the Belgium-Brazil game, so let me go ahead and show you that now. And actually, I think I got it pretty close. So have a watch of this, and then we'll get into the review. So for me, this is probably the toughest game to call of the tournament so far. We've got Brazil, rank two in the world, versus Belgium, who I think are rank three, maybe rank four. It's going to be so close. So I thought I'd do like a, a predictions video before the game kicks off. And what do I think is going to happen? I am going to go with a Belgian win, though. You know, my, my pre-tournament favourites were France and Germany. And in the back of my mind, if they weren't going to do it, 
Belgium were. And I think it's pretty much now or never for Belgium. Because if they don't win it now, this current generation of top, top, top players, you know, like players like Company, for example, in their defence, he won't be at the next World Cup. Um, but then again, they have got the likes of Hazard, um, Lukaku. They'll, they'll all be there next in the next World Cup. But I am going to go with a, a Belgium win. I don't think they are going to win the World Cup, but I think they'll beat Brazil. Um, score. 2-1 maybe? I think I think we're going to see Brazil start poorly today. I think I don't think they've been at their best this entire tournament. And in every game so far, they've got better as the game has progressed. I think that's going to happen again tonight. I think Brazil will play really poorly in the first half and they'll be like 1-0 down. And I think Belgium will probably come out in the second half a little bit more defensively. And then I think Brazil will get back in the game one all, and then Belgium will kill it off 2-1. I don't think it's going to go to extra time or penalties. At least I hope not, because I don't think I can take it. The stress. So that's going to be my prediction. I'm going to go with a Lukaku and De Bruyne goal. I think De Bruyne's going to score outside the box. He's going to he's going to have a good game tonight. That would be his first goal of the tournament, would it not? And the scorer for Brazil, I'm going to go with Coutinho. Hopefully my prediction's somewhat right. Otherwise, I'm going to look like an idiot. And I will see you in just a moment. So I got the score line right. 2-1 to, to Belgium, but uh, didn't get the scorers right, unfortunately. I predicted that De Bruyne would score. Was it outside the box? I th I'm pretty sure he scored outside the box, maybe just outside, um, but Coutinho didn't score. Belgium have done it, though. They are through to the semis. They will be playing France, and actually, this is interesting. So, Martinez is obviously the head coach or manager of Belgium. Who's his backup manager, his assistant? Thierry Henry. He's going to be up against his old his well not his old team but his his nationality he's up against France Henri versus France it's going to be really odd for him I'm sure it'll be weird because if if Belgium win then great he's done his job well they're into the final all good right and if they get knocked out it means his nation are through so it's almost a win-win for for Henri and I'm pretty sure if you asked him right now who do you want to win he would say Belgium just because he's working with them but in the back of his head he's like this is odd how can I help another nation beat my nation in the World Cup. I don't know if I could do it. It'd be it'd be a really weird, conflicting tight role. But Belgium looked really good tonight. They really did. And Brazil equally didn't look very good tonight. I think that they've been slow in most of these games. And it's another example of having great individual players, but not a great team. You know, a lot of these players play for rival clubs. There's a lot of Madrid versus Barcelona going on in that squad. Similar to Spain, by the way, who don't seem to struggle with that in the history, but um, maybe at this tournament it didn't help. I feel like Brazil just did not turn up in this World Cup, despite making it all the way to the quarterfinals. And I thought Neymar was embarrassing tonight. Has moments of greatness, and then moments of just embarrassment. Really is just shocking to see him diving on the floor like that, rolling around, and uh, it's a real shame. It is a real, real shame. I know I mentioned Suarez earlier on in this video. It's just the same thing, really. Um, Coutinho didn't have a great game. I think they really, really missed Casemiro. I think he's a he's a vital component to this Brazil side and Real Madrid. Fernandinho came in for him and did okay despite the own goal. I think they were better when Firmino came on in the second half. They took off William, which was a surprise, and moved Jesus over to the right. And that, that did seem to help because Brazil were better in the second half. Um, and they were 2-0 down. You know, they had to recover from a position that they haven't recovered from for 80 years, apparently. Or is it 70 years? They've, they've not recovered from a 2-0, um, well, from being behind 2-0. They've, they've not won the game 3-2 for 80 years or 4-2, whatever. So it was almost the impossible task, wasn't it? It was mission impossible. But they very almost got back in the game. They got, got to 2-1. And a lovely goal. Very, very nice header from the substitute Augusto, is it? Augusto. Decent substitute that. I didn't really think much of it when he came on. I just thought, yeah, I'm not sure you're going to get a goal just by putting on a midfielder. You need to kind of, you know, go for it. But fair play to him. Scored a header. Lovely pass from Coutinho. And you thought by then that maybe, just maybe, Belgium would lose a little bit of control of that game. They actually almost did, you know. They didn't start, you know, controlling the game enough by that point. And they were letting Brazil back in. It could have easily gone the other way. Neymar went down, almost got himself a penalty. If he didn't theatrically throw his head back and chest forward as he got poked in the eye, I mean, hold your face and go down. At least if you're going to try and act, do it properly. Um, and actually, I think Brazil should have had a penalty. I think that it was it was Jesus, wasn't it? Up against Vertonghen, I think. He nutmegged him. 
He then took a touch around company. The ball was going out of play, no doubt, but company absolutely clattered him, took him out in the box. It went to VAR and the referee didn't go and look. That's where I think the mistake was made. I think it was a penalty and had the referee spent 30 seconds to a minute running over to the review box, he would have seen it himself. But some people argue because the ball was going out of play, it, it shouldn't have been a penalty. I, I kind of get that, but in the rules of football, it's actually irrelevant if the ball is going out of play or not. If there's a foul, it's a foul. So I think actually Brazil got a little bit unlucky there not to get the penalty. And of course, that would have been two all potentially. So it would have changed the game completely. Um, but I do think Belgium deserve to go through. I do think so. I think they were the better team tonight. And I think they probably are. I don't know. Are they the favourites? Between them and France? I don't know, man. That's that's a really tough one. I think I think I want to go with France just because I want to stick to my guns. And that's my prediction. But damn, it's going to be a, a really good game, that. So tomorrow, it's all about England, Sweden. And um, the other game as well, Russia, Croatia. I think we're going we're gonna to get into the semis. Is it coming home, though? Is it going to be France or Belgium in the final? I, I still think Croatia are going to beat Russia. I think we'll beat Sweden. I think we'll play against Croatia in the semis. We'll lose to them. I think France will go through, and it'll be France-Croatia. That is that is my prediction still. I want to back the lads, but I think Croatia are a better team than England. But who knows? It's football. So thank you for watching this uh, quarterfinals review. We'll be back tomorrow night with another one, provided I'm not absolutely distraught and crying. Um, so thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Make sure you drop a like on the video as well. And I will see you tomorrow for an absolutely monumental day for English football.